Chapter 7. Heart Sword Stabbing Battalion. Let me go. I want to go back. Let me go back. I'm fighting on the front line, disregarding death. But that dog official is killing my whole family at the back. Let me go. Let me take revenge. My whole family is gone, burned in a fire. I want to find my father and my mother. Let me go. A group of Song troops in bondage roared at Gao Xionzi and Prince Song with red eyes. Gao Xionzi's face was grim as he stared at the group of manic generals in front of him. Prince Song also looked at Gao Xionzi. Lin Chong, have you asked clearly? Gao Xionzi asked in a deep voice. Lin Chong on the side nodded and said, Marshal, the deserters have all been captured and returned. My subordinates have also asked, but there is no defense. Along with the merchants from the various cities and towns came and brought a bunch of bad news from the rear. But some of the local nobles brutalized the families of the generals. Their relatives escaped, came to report. The families were brutalized and the generals became deserters. How many people are there? Gao Xionzi asked in a deep voice. There are already 30 families that have met an untimely end. Lin Chong said with an ugly face. Gu Hai's plot. Has it begun? Trying to disorganize my army. HMPH. Gao Xionzi let out a cold snort. Ancient Sea's plot. Prince Song's face sank. What happened? Who came to my camp to spread rumors? Gao Xionzi asked in a cold voice. It's that group of rich merchants. The servants of that group of rich merchants are mixed with messengers from various cities or relatives of the generals. Crown Prince rest your anger. Gao Xionzi shook his head. What, Marshal, you still want to take sides with those rich merchants? Prince Song said in a deep voice. Gao Xionzi smiled slightly for a while and said, No, Crown Prince, look at the general's looks. Gu Hai's conspiracy has begun and can't be stopped. HM, Crown Prince Song revealed a hint of doubt as he looked at the generals. The bound deserters naturally had red eyes, but the other onlookers, the generals, at this moment, were also looking above the square with incomparable gravity. Who wouldn't be angry? Desertion. Fuck desertion. If I were you, I'd desert, too. Now that the marshal is hearing this matter, what will be the outcome? Will our wives, children and parents also suffer? If we can't even protect our parents and children, how can we fight for our country? What's wrong with those rich merchants? At least they brought news of our rear. All the generals stared at Gao Xionzi and Prince Song with wide eyes, waiting for their just decision, not for this group of deserters, but also for the worry in our hearts. Crown Prince Song looked at the eyes of the generals, and his face became more and more somber. Crown Prince, you see, this is just the beginning. If you kill the rich merchants and this group of tipped-off people, won't you be closing their news channel? Wouldn't you be in cahoots with those dog officials? They are fighting to the death for you, but you are instructing that group of dog officials to keep brutalizing their parents, wives and children. Gao Xionzi sneered. Prince Song was horrified. This, this is Gu Hai's ploy. He's trying to cause us to blow up the camp and cause a mutiny within our army. Prince Song said with an ugly face. It must be him. In the past, there was no news coming in at all. Why did so many, 30 families suddenly appear? I don't think the local officials could be so stupid as to brutalize military families at this time. There may be. If I killed the group of rich merchants in a fit of rage and closed off the news, that Gu Hai might still have some tricks up his sleeve. Prince Song said with an ugly face. Gao Xionzi nodded and said, Yes. Then what now? Prince Song inquired. Gentlemen, I, Gao Xionzi, assure you of the sanctity of the military. During this period, anyone who dares to insult or injure a soldier's family member, I will definitely make them pay ten times and a hundred times the price. This is my Gao Xionzi's promise, and I ask you to trust this marshal. Gao Xionzi let out a loud shout. The generals looked at Gao Xionzi together. Gao Xionzi's promise had some effect after all. 
but suspicion eventually burrowed into the hearts of all the generals like the devil just looking at how Gao Xianzi disposed of it. You promise, what can you promise? Before the expedition, my daughter was only two years old, just could walk, just could hold my leg and shout daddy, but she was trampled to death by that dog official. Child is unfilial. Who am I fighting for? Fighting to the death. And you want my family to be broken, dog officer, dog officer. A group of deserters cried out in agony. The 30 deserters kept describing. Gao Xionzi is carefully listening to the middle, has been after two hours, only to straighten everything out, following the frown deeply locked. The entire square was silent. Everyone looked at Gao Xionzi. Gao Xionzi stared at the 26 people and said in a deep voice, UH, but my brother wouldn't lie to me. My cousin wouldn't lie to me either. The crowd spoke in a chorus. Not bad, they won't cheat you, but suppose they are also cheated. Gao Xianzi said in a deep voice, HM. Gentlemen, don't you find it strange? There hasn't even been this much bad news before. So many have suddenly popped up. I can tell you that all of this is the work of that six nations richest man, Gu Hai, in order to make our army mutiny. Gao Xianzi solemnly said, but who am I to believe you? The 26 people's faces were in a state of dismay. A city of people searching, better than you searching alone, right? Gao Xianzi comforted, but can it still be found? A deserter said with a hint of hope, how about searching one house at a time and digging three feet into the ground to find it and give you an explanation? If it's really the local officials who are doing wrong, I'll ask for an order from the king to kill without amnesty. Gao Xianzi said with firm eyes. Many thanks, Marshal. Many thanks, Marshal. The crowd of deserters cried as they knelt their bodies. Gao Xianzi turned his head to look at the other four deserters who still had red eyes. Marshal, what about us? We can't be fakes, right? My brother saw with his own eyes that my blind old mother was burned to death in the house. He's the county governor's son. No, as long as the people involved in the brutalization of your family, all beheaded, Marshal, the four stared at Gao Xianzi. You will personally supervise the execution, Gao Xianzi said with a fierce color. Marshal, many thanks Marshal, many thanks Marshal. And join with me in a joint petition to resist the outside world. We must first secure the inside world. Crown Prince Song looked at the group of deserters and nodded. Good. Gao Xianzi turned his head to look at the crowd of generals once again. Generals, I know you have worries in your hearts, rest assured. I, Gao Xianzi, hereby promise all of you the scruples. From now on, you are allowed to go home by letter. You are allowed to send a letter to your home, but, do not involve military secrets, you may do it. Many thanks, Marshal. Countless generals immediately boomed their promises. The previous worries were completely gone. The Marshal allowed letters to and from home. Then you can know that your home is safe. And you can also let your home know your situation. Great. Still the Marshal is good. The original trace of restlessness in his heart all of a sudden disappeared. However, as you all can see, this group of deserters, there are four out of necessity, but the remaining 26, perhaps they are all plots of Gu Hai. So if you all encounter things that cannot be solved, things that make your heart sore, you can report to me, and this marshal will do it for you, Gao Xianzi shouted. Gu Hai is so hateful, don't worry marshal, if there is anything, we will definitely report to you. Damn Gu Hai, marshal, what about that group of rich merchants? Lin Chong asked from the side. Fireworks, all stop, or else, to the disruption of the army on punishment, yes. The crowd of generals nodded their heads. A desertion crisis was suppressed by Gao Xianzi. The army slowly dispersed, and everything continued to start according to normal procedures. Gao Xianzi and Prince Song returned to the tent. Gao Xianzi personally wrote a letter and stamped it and Prince Song also took his own personal seal and stamped it. 
Gao Xionzi said with an ugly face. Ha! Huh, is it that bad? Prince Song frowned. Bad? Ha ha! Crown Prince, you underestimated him too much. Once the military's heart is broken by Gu Hai, that 800,000 strong army, immediately destroyed, the Song Kingdom is in danger, ready to be destroyed. Gao Xianzi said in a deep voice. Ah, so, Crown Prince, weigh it yourself, your Song family's kingdom, and this group of death-defying nobles. How do you choose? I am not an alarmist, Gao Xianzi solemnly said. Crown Prince Song's eyelids fluttered furiously as he nodded. Don't worry, I'll write another letter to my father and fully cooperate with you. Half a month later, the Song Dynasty capital, Song City. Father and son Gu Hai and Gu Han stood in front of an imperial list, looking at the imperial list that had just been posted, righteous father. Gao Xianzi acted quite fast, immediately resolving this crisis, Gu Han said gruffly. While they hate me, they will also continue to be suspicious of the Song powers and nobles. So what if they hate me? Later on, they'll realize that hating me is the root cause of the destruction of the country. Gu Hai laughed. But Gao Xianzi's military has stabilized. Stabilized. But we've already planted a seed of cholera. Everything has just begun. I'll lead them into a deadly cycle. And Gao Xianzi still wants to unravel the situation. He won't be able to solve it. Gu Hai looked at the imperial list and revealed a light smile. 